So we'll dispatch an emissary to Tolrania and we will declare war upon them. Tolrania is also fighting Drahara and the dwarves. And so I don't think they're gonna be able to put up much of a resistance. Balon Castle has over 1k units stationed here. There's three lords here. I wonder if we can convince any of them to defect. Calrius is devoted. He will join us. This Count Rafarakis is devoted as well. He has no fiefs, so he'll probably join us. Yep, there's one left. This guy absolutely hates us. He's not going to join us. Apparently, I raided his village a few times. Well, here we go. Siege tower time. Since this is a siege tower attack, we're going to try to take out all 1k of them on the first attack. And we got a level up. And we got 15 power throw. All right, so we finally broke through. And they have a fair bit of archers in the courtyard. I'm going to try to grenade them with my 15 power throw. Some people were asking like why their grenades do no damage and it's because you need to up your power throw. The leaf bomb damage scales off of it. And we got a glorious knight of the great holy bull. Interesting. I've started to give the feast away right after I take them. This will give the castle and the village over to Clarius and he'll be able to start getting income right away. And here comes their army. It's looking like they are not very strong. We might actually be able to start turning them. Tolranius doesn't like us. We raided his villages. This Count Dyerlin is devoted. Can I persuade you? And yes, I can. And so he literally just becomes part of our faction right then and there. So King Torlian is at Farage Castle along with two of his lords. I wonder if I can recruit them right in front of him. This guy doesn't like us. How about this guy? He doesn't like us either. Well, let's take him out. It's a ladder attack, so we shouldn't lose many casualties. So this castle is quite annoying to siege. We don't really have a great angle on them. Since they have two extra lords here, we're just going to back out and we're going to move on to Hedo Castle. We'll come back for that one when it has no lords there. This one's a siege tower, so we got to take out the first attack. All right, this one's looking a lot better. They're pretty exposed. It ended up taking a while and I kind of just brute forced my way in. I only lost three units, one Crimson Ranger and two Hive Wardens. And as usual, our allies took the brunt of the casualties. But they did have a pretty hefty garrison of 657 units. We'll give this castle and the village to Rafarakis. And next we'll head over to Dillet Castle. There is a Lord here. We have bad relation with him though, so he won't join us. So it was a ladder attack and I was able to just back out a bunch of times. And all in all, I don't think we lost more than like 30 units. All right, onwards to Galway, I suppose. Including the Lords, it's got about 1200 units. Let's see if we can convince the Lords to join us. This guy is the one that has 200 units in the castle and he's devoted. He is the Lord of Galway. I don't think he will join us and he will. So guess what happens now? we get Galway for free and this guy who was in the castle gets ejected from it and he's at 10.1 oh get him someone oh he got away let's move on to Corning castle it has 500 units it's a ladder attack so this is free this one's layout is really sucky though pendor has the same exact castle and for archers it's really buggy for some reason archers get bugged out and they won't fire all right so i just backed out again i'm about to just auto calc the rest of this it is kind of a lot of XP though, and it's a ladder attack, so I'm kind of a fan of just clearing them out with my own leaf bombs. Legends tell the tale about how Woodman was able to hold off 4,000 elves. For about two minutes. Next we'll move on to Fedora Castle. Hopefully we can get here before these guys get here. Oh, we got it. Yep, that's right, back off. We can't really see their archers, so we just gotta bum rush them. I pulled all the units back, let's see what we're working with here. Holy crap, this is a mess. First attack, we lost 25, and we killed 156. That's it. You fight better that way. I wish I could tell you that Andy fought the good fight and the sisters let him be. I wish I could tell you that. Thrax looking like he's not going to come back from that one. Don't worry though, he's just knocked out. He'll be fine. So I used my units as a meat wall and I just grenaded them down. When I ran out of grenades, I would just back out and rinse and repeat, which is kind of cheap in my opinion. I feel like there should be some kind of penalty for retreating when you can just retreat whenever you want, come back, siege, and build a ladder in two hours. It makes the ladder sieges feel really trivial. So we mowed down Fedora Castle. And speaking of trivial, my 2k honor rating has given me 100 relation with so many lords and I feel like it's made the game way too easy. So after we finish off Anluk's Castle and Farage Castle, we're going to ramp up the difficulty a little bit and we're going to declare war with everybody. So at Anlux Castle, there's two lords here. The first guy didn't like us, but this guy does, and we were able to get him to join. So we took out Tolrania's last castle, and we're going to take the king prisoner. And apparently, Chief Oria was their prisoner, so we were able to free him. Tolrania and the Realm of the Falcon entered into allegiance with each other, and the Realm of the Falcon declared war against us. I don't think it was intentional. The Realm of the Falcon just went into alliance with Tolrania, and we're at war with Tolrania, so it declared war with them automatically, which is fine. Like, I was about to declare war with them anyways. Whoever I gave Pamandot Castle to revolted. Apparently, Bregadon revolted 
against me. I gave him four thieves too, so it's surprising that he did revolt. My lord, I grow tired of waiting for the lords of this realm to assemble. Perhaps we should take the first opportunity to marry in any great hall that is open to us. Well, she seems a bit eager. I sent her to Fornarn. Let us proceed with the vows immediately. I vow to take you as my wife. Gain right to rule. Yay. We're getting married. Was that the Queen Arwen? Wait, she came out from the dungeon. Apparently I let the queen out from her dungeon to wed off her daughter. So now since we got married, we can host feasts. I got a bunch of wine. I'll put it in the storehouse and I'll just put a bunch of food there too. The only thing we really don't have is spice. We have to go all the way to Colvera to get spice, I think. Yep. While I was looking for spice, Amarna got besieged. All right, back to Amarna, which is in the center of the Falcon territory. Field Marshal Gunner has 455 Falcon units, and his strength is 20k, so his units are extremely powerful. My strength is only 10k, and I have 100 less units than him. So he engaged one of our lords, and the rest of our army engaged this lord. So we'll do this one first. We have 2400 against 200. We'll just auto calc it, and we can capture this guy. He's Marshal with 1400 renown. I think we'll release him. And the rest of the lords engaged Field Marshal Gunner, so we have 3100 against 450. I think we'll auto calc this. Our allies lost 61. We killed 96. I think we'll just keep auto calcing. I lost five the second attempt. Our allies lost 44. We took out 150. He got away. We're back at four and iron and randomly a bunch of lords defected to us. We'll take you. We'll take you. This dude's a beast. He has 1300 renown. Queen Trisna. What's up, girl? Oh, she's the queen of Macavia. She has 1,600 renown. So we finished gathering all the materials for the feast. The amount of drink is magnificent, and the variety is magnificent. The amount of spice is magnificent. The amount of oil is magnificent. And so we got two fine oil. We got some wine, some ale, a bunch of food, five spices, which may be overkill, some more ale, um, some butter, some salt. I don't know if that does anything. Let us dispatch the invitations. I can also see her equipment. Her chest piece is really good. She got the royal enchantment helmet. Her bow is surprisingly not that good though. Like it's not even as good as the regular elven bow. Her arrows are good though. The reason why I made the feast was because a lot of my lords had a lot of prisoners. And so I was hoping when they entered Fornirn for the feast, they would dump them all off in Fornirn's garrison and I could just take them out and sell them for myself. Unfortunately, most of the lords were on to me and they decided not to come to the feast. So while we did gain 24 renown and some relation with lords we didn't care about, in my book, it ended up being a waste of time. And now we're gonna declare war with everyone, starting with the Reich. I declare war on the Jahara. I declare war upon the dwarves, and I declare war upon the Bacal giants, who I didn't really know existed. And apparently they're still alive and kicking over in the middle of nowhere. I'm going to make Eric Candace go back to training the troops of his own culture. I think that will make him train his arcane defenders again. Alright, so we gathered all the lords, and we're going to head back over to the realm of the Falcon. Erendal has been besieged by the Reich. That is really far away. And we're not going to be able to help that out, so we're just going to keep going. Alright, so we're at Falcon Waters. They have nearly 600 units. It's a lighter attack, so this should be pretty easy. So we'll see about that one. Oh man, got a lot of archers up there. It'd be a shame if I leaf bombed them all and they fell off. I've done the siege before in Pandora. It's another one that's pretty buggy. A lot of my archers just refuse to fire and they're like, they're completely in our field of view. We just can't shoot at them. All these guys are just not firing. And we can see their bowmen are like right up there. The way we win this is we gotta get the archers up on this tower up here. And that way they'll actually shoot and spray these guys down. It's hard because I gotta figure out where this is on this little map. I couldn't figure it out. We're just gonna back off. We just need to break their initial line. And then when they get reinforcements, the reinforcements spawn really far back in the castle. So it takes them forever to get back here. Well, those guys are really clumped up. Knocked them off the edge. I don't really know what happens when they fall. Depends how far they fall, I think. I mean, they just gotta figure out where this is on the map. And then I can just send my units up here. And I think it crashed. In prison, when you hold left all, you can sprint. But I found it can crash the game, so I don't really use it that much. I crashed again using left alt to sprint. A good strategy is to line up the archers in front of the castle. And we can pick up a lot of the archers this way. So now when we charge in, we've eliminated a lot of their archers on top, which is pretty helpful. Well, after retreating about five or six times, we finally took them all out. That was probably one of the hardest sieges in the game. Let's move on to Falcon Head. Let's see how hard that one is. This one also has a really difficult layout. They start with an insane height advantage, and we have no way to really get an angle on them. Also, there's an option to heal yourself. You can only do it once every minute, but that's why my HP went up. Just so you guys didn't think I was cheating. I think the best option on this one is just rush in. And then get the archers in there ASAP. And hopefully we can get the archers in a good position for when they get reinforcements spawning. We're almost at the top. Let's see what we got to work with here. We kind of broke through a little bit. There's bomb a lot of these guys. Really hope. Oh my god, this is insanely difficult. 
I think we just back off of this castle. 31 of our allies got killed, 118 wounded, and we killed 81, which wasn't too bad, I guess. Falconhead still has 520 units left, though. I think we got to try to move on to something easier. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'm going to end the episode right here. In the next episode, we're going to try to take out some of the easier Falconian castles while fighting the Falcons, the Dwarves, the Reich, and Drahara all at the same time. I'm feeling pretty motivated. I might be able to get it out today. I'll hopefully see you guys then. Peace out.